I have a very horrifying topic. Uh, it's like the scariest, most Halloween appropriate topic of all time. Sure. I'm talking about the Great National Dex debate. <laughs> <laughs> Depending on what side you're on, it's quite horrifying. Um, so yeah, for those who are unaware of the National Dex debate or what it is, um, it involves Pokemon. Here in two weeks, we'll be getting the, the eighth generation of Pokemon games. That's Pokemon. Wild, considering it feels like we know very little about it still. Yeah, we do. We know almost nothing. They've been very tight-lipped compared mm -hmm. to previous previous uh, things, generations. But uh, so yeah, Pokemon Sword and Pokemon Shield. They're about to come out in a few weeks, and. I would dare say that this has been the most controversial game release yet for them. Oh, yeah. Leading up to I mean, it. Everything else has been pretty same Jesus. Yeah, people are not very happy. At least, yeah, I'm trying to think. Like, people were upset with some of the stuff that from Sun and Moon, but after they got it in their hands, mm -hmm. leading up, they didn't know. Like, the how, how like hands holdy it is and sort of stuff yeah but yeah beforehand like the lead up is all pretty much same z i remember i feel like mm -hmm. this one's been pretty different like we, we we got two weeks we don't even know what the starters evolve into and i think for gen 6 at least they revealed those like a month in advance it was mm -hmm. kind of crazy so but yeah the the big controversy surrounding generation 8 pokemon is the national dex controversy so in all the games up until this point, you can only catch a certain amount of Pokemon. Then when you beat the game, you get what's called the National Pokedex, and all the Pokemon up to that point become available, so you can catch them all. Well, in Generation 8, they revealed that they are not going to put every Pokemon up until this point into the game. And people are not happy about it. Um... One of the big things about Pokemon that people love is catching all the Pokemon. Um, so I mean, they being used able it to... as their tagline for a long time. Exactly, and now it's not there anymore. So, um, you know, naturally people are upset. A lot of people are boycotting the game. Uh, Masada, well, the, the director. Yeah, so what will they actually bot? We'll see. Yeah, we um, won't know until sales. So Masada had to come out and say to, like, after that, he put out kind of a non-statement like, well, you'll be able to catch your po favorite Pokemon if they're not in this game and later games. So, you know, this, mm -hmm. he just kind of, kind of had to like acknowledge the controversy. He's like, you know, we're glad the fans are passionate and stuff. Like, general, like, corporate speak. But, uh, so... I mean, it's still pretty big for a Japanese company. Mm-hmm. Yeah, most of the time they're just like, eh, whatever. And I don't, I'm, I'm curious how the Japanese feel about this. If it's more of an American have a problem with this or not. I don't know. But yeah, that so a lot of people were upset, and I was kind of curious where you guys sat on this. Do you care that all the Pokemon are in the game? Do you like catching all the Pokemon? I've only ever done it. I did it on Gen Six. Like we had a giant. There was a giant like span of like two months where everybody was like playing Pokemon and chat and stuff. And we were like <laughs> trading with each other. It was really pretty. It was really fun. I have a very fond memory of that time. And that's <laughs> probably a, why I love Gen 6 so much a lot. But, uh... Mm. I don't... I don't Like, Gen 7, I didn't go back and catch... Like, I didn't bother importing my Pokemon. I didn't bother breeding them all again and all that stuff to getting all the pre-evolutions. Like, I just didn't fiddle with it. And I was like, you know, I did that once. I caught, like, almost 700 Pokemon. I'm good. <laughs> but So how did you guys feel about it? I'm kind of curious. Like, do you think it's a detriment to the game? Does it matter at all? Like, what do you think? Well, I don't, like, like similar to you, like, I've only caught them all one game, and that was um, uh, 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 Alpha Sapphire. And, eh, I mean, this is not, it's the first mainstream Pokemon game, but it's not the first Pokemon game to not have all the Pokemon in it. Like, it, it's happened before, and it's like, aw, but to, for me... That's the extent of the statement. Oh, okay, done. <laughs> <laughs> Personally, but it's... Would, so, all right, what's your favorite Pokemon, Tess? Uh, It depends on... Just off the top of your head, what's the first one that comes to mind? 
Jolteon. All right, so what if, like, you couldn't get Jolteon the game? Would it, like, upset you if you, like, bought the game and then you found out you couldn't get Jolteon? A little bit, but there's freaking 800 and how many of them? How much is getting added on? You'll find a favorite one in the new one. (laughs) A lot of them are useless, kind of. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that, that, what is it, the Edge Crow? Horrible, useless design. Oh, come on. Come on. (laughs) Sorry, that was uncalled for. You're an Impidimp fan, aren't you? I don't know what that means. (laughs) I'll show you. (laughs) I'll show you my boy, the the Sa- Lord and Savior Impidimp here in a little bit, who's yet to be confirmed by Nintendo. I mean, they Game showed Freak. him in the Ponyta thing, so... Like, he, they haven't, like, talked about him, though. Right, they just haven't talked about they him. They haven't acknowledged him. He's their bastard child. Right. All right, what about you, Mal? How do you feel about the whole na- National Dex controversy? I, I'm just... I don't... It doesn't matter really to me so much. Like, um, it's nothing I would boycott it over, or you know, uh, I can see where they're coming from when they like in, like, they can't keep having all of them forever, or at least. Yeah, there's like, over there's, a thousand you know, Pokemon right, now. Over a thousand. I can see why they might not want to keep having it. I mean. At least in the theory. Now, what they did do was um, when they first announced it at E3 or whatever that it wouldn't, they they said like, you know, we'll be able to spend more time on animations and stuff. <laughs> that was a lie, right? And that was just as a flat lie because all of the animations have just been imported from Sun and Moon. Um. At least for you know all the you know the non new Pokemon, which I think we're up to what twenty so far. <coughs> yeah, I had to, if I had to guess, there's probably going to be around like fifty or sixty new ones, not and, counting the new forms. Yeah, and then I don't know. They just they've made other changes that you know fans just haven't agreed with, like just abandoning Mega Pokemon and going to uh, giant, uh, Dynamax and Giant Mat, Giant Mat. What is it called? I don't. It's even know. Dynamax. Well, the the other version of it. Oh, is I there think. another version? I don't even know. It's, well, it's the where, one that you raid for, right? Well, uh, it's the one. It's when they have a different form, like a uh, Fat Pikachu and Long Meow. Oh yeah, like a oh, Kaju it's called, Charizard. It's, like, it's called like Gi- Giant Max or something. Have you seen all the Kaju? They're they're literally all Godzilla monsters, like the alternate forms. Tets. Yeah, 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 I've seen some of them. Um, so yeah, it's been a lot of negativity, not much. Like, um, in the, the graphics of the game aren't really anything impressive compared to other Switch games. No. Like, you know, Breath of the Wild looks so much better than a uh, Pokemon game. Um, I mean... The what is it called? The wild area? Is that what it's just called? Yeah, wild area. Mm-hmm. Looks pretty cool. Like I am excited to see that. That's but, the free range area. Yeah, the free range area. But then like you but uh, they've shown some of the animations and what like the Pokemon walking on the map does not look very good. Like they just <laughs> they're not sort of randomly bother. teleport in. Yeah. And then they literally they go so they just like walk in a straight line back and forth and they pivot on their center. And not with the, like a natural turning, so it looks very bad. <laughs> yeah, it's basically a, an unnatural, just straight up like "Let's go, Pikachu and Eevee" kind of. It just feels. I mean, maybe it was right, or maybe I don't know. Game, maybe Game Freak is just kind of tired with Pokemon, right? Yeah. Well, I think they were. De- they're also their developing game, two games at the same time. Yeah, their other game looks pretty cool. Maybe they're just like they're more interested in doing that. Mm-hmm. Or maybe Nintendo really is rushing them on this, pushing them to get it out as quickly as possible. Because, you know, they announced it back when the Switch came out. Yeah. And Nintendo does not like to announce games with a long uh, development time. Mm-hmm. And they so, want this to come out before the holiday because they want to exactly. push their new Switch lots and stuff, you know? So. I mean, I'm surprised 
they announced Metroid since that doesn't seem to be going anywhere. But. <laughs> well, they had to scrap it and start back over like right. half a year ago. So, um, <clears throat> they still haven't said anything about the new Shin Megami Tensei game either. The what now? Uh, Shin Megami Tensei. Oh 5. yes, yes, right. I was thinking some cro- another crossover game. I'm like, wait, no. I missed that. But yeah, um, yeah. But those aren't, I mean, yeah, they're not really as big as Pokemon or anything, so. Yeah. I mean, I don't care. When I play the new games, I actually like using pretty much all new Pokemon for the most part. Sure. That's yeah. how I like to do it. Um, and then maybe, like, after yeah. the National Dex opens up, I might use some of my favorites, but. Oh. Yeah, because I've never been big on even trading, like, while playing the game. So, like, there are always Pokemon I couldn't use. And then, like. I love uh, the Tyranitar line, but you mm-hmm. can never get them until the end of the game. Yeah. And, like, most of the time I'm playing just through the story and very little after. Uh, sort of a thing. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, yeah, again, like, it's not really the fact that it's... They're not... It's, not necessarily, the fact that all the Pokemon aren't in it isn't really a big deal. It's just kind of the how they've gone about the messaging and whatnot. Mm-hmm. And yeah, I, I, the I, rest I, of the game that kind of is leaving me sad. Or yeah, I mean, here's my thing it. too. Like, if it's such like a bad issue or like a devastating issue, and they're just like for the most part importing old models and stuff, yeah. and animations. They can just, like, add them as, like, free DLC and stuff if they really yeah, want to do. If they... I think that, like... I can't remember. I think I've seen them, like, say that they weren't, but also that they might sort of a thing. Yeah, like, it would be so cool to see, like, there's here's, no like, two lines of Pokemon, and, you know, or, so, like, a legendary mm-hmm. thing, like, legendary events, because they always do those and stuff, too. Yeah, so. I'm curious what how many Pokemon are actually been confirmed in the game, too. Like, because if they only do, like, you know... 200 people would be really yeah. upset I'm i think sure. a lot of people right. are estimating around like 400 or something yeah that is also an important factor like if there are only 200 like pokemon yeah. then that's a lot that's a lot more upsetting because that really just limits what you can have <laughs> ready to run into ratatat pidgey I mean, on route one right like i mean sure the first game had only 150 but we've come a long way since then. But right. we're still going to run into Raz Hat and Pidgey on Route 1 and, and Galar Route 1. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. I want to catch me that coughing, man. That dapper coughing. The wheezing. The Galar wheezing. You said dapper and then you said wheezing, so... Yeah, he's he Which is dapper. He, he has a uh, giant top hat and a mustache. <laughs> But he's just do those really just those things make you dapper? <laughs> I mean, they help. That's po- right. Pony saw him all about. I just wish it wasn't psychic. It should have been fairy. If you if you disagree, then I don't know what to tell you. I disagree. It's a it's a freaking unicorn. So I don't know. Maybe Rapidash will turn fairy. A lot of people were thinking that it would be flying uh, psychic because it'll turn into a Pegasus. Which, you know, it's, just, it's possible. Looks like there are about maybe 300 or so are, are confirmed at, on Cerebi, so... Okay. Like, that's not bad to me. Like, no, there'll be more in the game, because there's tons right. they haven't revealed, so... Possibly. I mean... I don't know. There's the... That's, what are the... The worst part, like, they've kept it so, like more tight lip than usual like how weird would it be to like get in the game and there's <laughs> they like just have not nothing. Much, right there's not much else that they <laughs> haven't talked about in the game it's like they did reveal everything it just wasn't much uh that that would be the real disappointment right so <laughs> the, the starters don't evolve i'm sorry people <laughs> that would also that would people uh, would lose their shit yep but yeah, so, I don't know, I'm excited. Hopefully I can finish uh, Trails by the time they come out. I'm like, I've been... I don't know lo- if I'd say I'm excited. But. I've been getting... I was like, you know, fairly tepid or like, you know, it's like, whatever, I'll get it when it comes out. But, you know, like, 
a few starting a few weeks ago, like the, I think the last big trailer they did, I was like, all right, I'm starting to feel a little excited because I just have a lot of nostalgia for Pokemon. When the new games come out, it's like always just like a big deal. It's like just one of my favorite mm. franchises. So I don't, I'm very much like nostalgia man. So I feel like my nostalgia is kind of starting to wear off with Pokemon, honestly. Yeah. Yeah. I, I feel like to get the Pokemon nostalgia for me, it requires more constraints rather than more freedoms. I just, it's just, it's playing the same game over and over. Right. It's part of the problem. Like, that's why I didn't even pick up Let's Go because I'm like, am I really just going to walk? Like, <laughs> that's different, man. Walk around the map and then fight the Elite Four and then not touch it again for who knows how long? Like, yes, yes, you are. I didn't. <laughs> I know you didn't. I did, though. Uh, like, am I going to do it for this one? This like, one of my probably, favorite games last year. We'll see. I don't know. After this gym, we'll see. We might not get it on launch day. <laughs> yeah, a lot of people, the, the ones more like lukewarm about the idea have just been like, I'm going to wait on reviews and see what reviews say. Oh, I don't even yeah. think that'll be necessary. I don't really think a review will be able to tell you. Like, if you've played Pokemon, I doubt a review is going to really tell you much else. It'll at like, least, like, tell you probably, like, how many Pokemon are in the game and stuff like that. Yeah, It'll tell yeah, you how many is in the decks. Like, I think the biggest thing people are worried about is just the amount of tutorial, like, mm -hmm. from Sun and Moon. Yeah. Oh, they or, confirmed you can, like, skip, like, the tutorial. Because a lot of game journalists have played, like, the first... They got, like, an hour with the game or something at, like, oh, an okay. event, like, a week ago, I think. And they're like, yeah, you can just straight up skip the tutorial. Yeah. Your rival picks the Pokemon that you are strong against. And then you fight the champion right after that. And I think he has the Pokemon that's strong against you. Something like that. Mm -hmm. Or the professor's assistant one does. So Yeah. I mean, honestly, I've liked a lot of the designs for new Pokemon. Like, yeah, they've been pretty good so far. Like... Impidimp is probably my least favorite. Yeah, he's probably my least favorite. I just like the meme okay. surrounding him. I need to look this up. I need to see what is this Impidimp talking about. He was just like kind of hiding out. He looks like a Ren and Stimpy or like a Simpsons character. Oh, I like him. Yeah, he's uh, he's like kind of Adorable. the worst. <laughs> it's just Dude. not my style. Like, not. I didn't say I hated him. He's just my least favorite. He's I, Dark I mean, Fairy. Like, I'm probably going to like, use him. I like the Steel Dragon, and I know a lot of people don't. Oh, I hate... No, he's my least favorite. The one that looks like oh, a giant ladder. Yeah, like, I don't know why, but I love him. <laughs> yeah, he's like a lot of people's least favorite. I'd say him or Score Bunny. I'm not... I do not like Score oh, yeah, Bunny. Actually, Score Bunny is actually my least favorite, probably. I like Score Bunny, too, so I think I'm just gonna be... <laughs> the minority. I love Dreadnought, and... Uh, Corviknight. Corviknight, I'm all in. I mean, I love edgy stuff too, and yep. turtles. So. And, and then the Gamper is adorable. Gamper is cute, yeah. He's electric. It's electric <laughs> dog who we haven't got yet. Electric Corgi. You cannot not like Gamper. Yeah. And Wooloo. I, and love I don't Wooloo. know why I like Alacream, but hate the stupid Slurp Puff. <laughs> I like the Teacup guy too. Yep. And then... Cramorant is just like so derpy, but I, love it. <laughs> yeah. I also just like cormorants, so. Mm hmm. Oh, uh, it's. Anyway, so I'm, yeah, I'm excited. Like, I like the Pokemon. It's just the. And I like some of the ideas they've had, but they just kind of have. The, the, P, the PR has been not great. Yeah. Maybe they'll eventually be able to get to, to get like. New... They need to get some new uh, PR people or something. Yeah. Like, I don't know. I think they've just been playing things too safe or samesies with uh, even just like, they, with like how they present the game. I don't know. Mm -hmm. Like, I think they're just like, yeah, look at all this new stuff. It's awesome, but eh. It's all, I mean, they're not really doing any. I guess they did do that 24-hour stream, which I think was... For Ponita, which I think was too, like yeah, that was hours weird. Just to kind of show off Ponita, if you were paying I attention was, to it, yeah, I think they should have done more with that. They should have gone. 
like, yeah, they should have gone bigger. It was just like mm -hmm. one area. Yeah, there was definitely more they could have done with it, but I think. What well, if they were just like we're revealing? Idea. We're revealing every single new Pokemon across this twenty-four hour stream. Or Watch just parts it. of them. They could have just, like, they didn't have to show them off completely. Like, a lot of the Ponyta sightings were just, like, a tail or something. Yeah. They could have done, like, that for a lot more of them, even if they only wanted to show Ponyta in full. Mm-hmm. Oh, and, like, it was technically you were supposed to be helping, like, or what the, uh, the assist, the... Professor's assistant. Yeah, the professor's assistant with, like, studying this area. Mm -hmm. But that didn't play it. Like, they could have done more with the scenario and stuff yeah. like that. It just, I think it would have been a better event. I don't know what you would call it, but, you know. Anyway. PR stunt. Yeah. But anyways, yeah, so that's it. I, I think we're pretty much all on, like, the same, like, eh, it's not that big of a yeah. deal. I, it's, it's been really blown out of proportion, in my opinion. Like, people are crazy. Anytime you see anyone talk about it on Twitter, like, people are insane, but, I mean, that's Twitter in a nutshell anyway, I, so. I don't know. I think some people, I mean, have a right to not want to be lied to by a company. Sure, sure. And stuff like that, but it just, yeah, it doesn't matter as much to me. Like, yeah. So, 